many others it's 180 uh, uh, degree so we uh, the the other 180 is done by the uh, treatment table so here to have an idea about the anatomy of the country you have the beam uh, of the excavator coming this way so it's, here is the uh, dipole bending beams uh, and then it goes to the axis with the uh, uh, weather bolts providing focusing of the uh, uh, of the beam itself, and then the, the scattering magnet uh, scatter the beam, and then bending magnet again, uh, last bending uh, deployed, this to come and the head, and then the nozzle, and this uh, after the nozzle, which is the uh, giving the, the treatment in the uh, treatment tool. This prescribed mainly the uh, scattered of this. While this part are not, this, the nozzle and this part are not uh, present in the uh, pencil beam radiation where it, it is uh, uh, changed to uh, the, the pencil beam uh, technology that, that gives the uh, radiation similar to the TV uh, uh, picture, uh, row by row and plane by plane, uh, plane after the other and then it goes very quickly, so it, it can be uh, given in a very short time, in many seconds, uh, in order to uh, uh, to get the, the whole volume of uh, 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 tumor the same dose. This needs to be uh, the, the, movement, the movement of the body uh, here is a, is a problem, and so it has to be very fast in order to have the, the treatment uh, in, in the same position of the, uh, the, of the target uh, and avoiding the, the movement of the, uh, of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of the target uh, inside the body. Uh, this is the nozzle. The nozzle uh, it measures the dose. It has a, a, a beam position and the beam shape are uh, the responsibility of the nozzle and the ring uh, shifter. Uh, there is a lot of uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, pieces that will uh, do that. Here is a different uh, proton gantry. Uh, as I uh, just mentioned, the Mavion has the here is the uh, the, the cyclotron, and here is the uh, uh, the conduct the the ducts, and then at last this this is this part is the. Uh, this part is the uh, treatment table, while uh, the others are uh, um, having the uh, cyclocyclotron or cyclotrons away, and then it goes to the uh, uh, treatment room to uh, the conductor. The, we have two uh, mod, uh, models of uh, delivery of the, uh, of the beam of the proton, either a passive scatter uh, uh, or the uh, uh, passive scatter or the uh, pencil beam, which is, which is the dynamic beam scanning. The passive scatter, you have to put the, uh, here is a uh, shifter, and the scat, then scatter, then after that another scattering, and then after that pollinators in order to have the, the, the same uh, uh, needed uh, beam and then uh, the compensator, and at the end you get the uh, beam. The, while the, and the, uh, the dynamic beam, the beam scanning or pencil beam the scanning, that is, this is the, the, the here is the dynamic, this, then the dynamic uh, uh, <coughs> scanning, and then it goes uh, this way uh, until it finishs with the volume of uh, radiation. Uh, this is the scatter beam again. You need many uh, uh, shaping uh, and uh, devices to make the shaping of the of the beam. While in the uh, scatter in the uh, benzene beam, you don't need this. The proton beam therapy in the United States um, until uh, 2015, there is there's only 15. Uh, 15 centers that have uh, uh, 
uh, total beam in the United States. It is supposed that by, by 2020 it will reach to 25. So it's a, it's a new modality and it needs uh, uh, a lot, and it is very uh, dynamic and the, the, the uh, uh, improvement in the process is going very fast. So uh, going to the uh, breast cancer, the, uh, uh, the rationale for the use of uh, proton beam in the and the breast cancer, the protons have been shown to provide uh, substantial normal tissue sparing for several malignancies. And the breast cancer patients are often cured of, of their disease, but may experience, may experience late side effects as a result of radiation therapy and late uh, cardiac toxicity uh, that may uh, decrease the survival benefit of the radiation therapy. And uh, I remember the, uh, at, the, at the end of nine, at 1990, there was a very famous uh, article in the New England Journal of Medicine uh, uh, stating that the, there was no benefit of radiation uh, because of the complication of the, uh, uh, the uh, coronary complications and the deaths uh, due to uh, uh, heart disease uh, abolish the benefit of uh, local radiation and so the results of the radiation are uh, not uh, positive but even it can be uh, uh, negative. This was followed by the uh, uh, another article wrote by uh, uh, in, uh, from Denmark that shows that the patients uh, if you uh, if you can uh, decrease the cardiac toxicity, you will get uh, the benefit of uh, post-operative radiotherapy and for the radical radiotherapy. Nowadays, it's well known that there is benefit of uh, radiation therapy and we have to decrease the uh, complication. The, the proton uh, uh, supposed to improve the target coverage. Why is that? Because the, the, if we use a standard field for uh, photons, though the, uh, and we are getting 50, 50 gray uh, using the RTOG volume, so the, the, the 45 gray covered only 74% of the chest wall, 84% of the uh, level one axillary lymph nodes, and 88% of the level two axillary lymph nodes, 93% of the level three lymph nodes. And the uh, supraclavicular lymph node cover only in 84%, while the uh, internal mammary lymph nodes are covered only in, by 80%. So the coverage is not uh, that good for the, uh, uh, with the, including the, uh, both using the photon therapy. And on the other way, the cardiac toxicity was uh, uh, allocated or uh, demonstrated by increasing increasing the dose to the uh, uh, to the heart will increase the complication rate. So the complication rate uh, from uh, two percent till it reached to uh, something like uh, uh, a very high dose that's seven seven to seven point four percent. Complication with increasing the dose, and the uh, myocardial uh, the in, by increasing the dose, the myocardial infarction, the coronary uh, uh, affection, and the deaths from ischemic heart disease uh, showed uh, an increased rate uh, by the dose of radiation. Here you can find that the if, if the after uh, collectively you can get uh, seven point four percent. Uh, uh, from zero to twenty percent, while it's uh, something like uh, fifteen to sixteen percent for the first uh, ten years, and then after from ten to twenty years, it decreased to uh, something like eight percent or one one point two to eight point two percent, but collectively it is seven point four percent of cardiac toxicity. Uh, is demonstrated uh, in different uh, uh, articles. The major vessels 
here, here this is, these vessels are irradiated in the uh, uh, irradiation of the left uh, press, while we, all of us know, that, uh, we consider that the right press is, is without cardiac toxicity. Here you can, you can demonstrate that here these are the uh, uh, arteries that would be affected by the right, uh, uh, right press irradiation. So uh, right breast is not uh, away from uh, cardiac toxicity. So as you can see here in this slide, the, uh, the right-sided right uh, post-mastectomy radiotherapy uh, with uh, uh, IMPT, the uh, uh, density modulated rotor therapy, generally was assumed uh, a greater benefit for patients with uh, left-sided breast cancer, while in the right-sided patients with uh, internal memory uh, nodes involvement can have a very high mean heart, uh, heart goes and uh, uh, coronary disease. So by, by using the proton therapy, you can still uh, uh, be away from the uh, uh, coronary artery and uh, you can give uh, a safe dose of radiation without uh, having uh, or expectation of the uh, complication and the coronary complication. Uh, in the future days of the pain of the patients. The proton uh, to decrease the cardiac dose, the mean heart dose with protons for comprehensive coverage with internal memory uh, lymph nodes uh, radiation is less than one uh, gray. The mean heart dose with photon uh, is from four uh, with the uh, internal memory uh, lymph nodes uh, again is from four to 17 uh, gray, which is uh, very high, so it is uh, four times up to 17 times that of the uh, proton. Uh, extrapolations for, uh, from the uh, uh, Derby, uh, Sarah Derby uh, article, this may uh, translate to the 15% decrease in the major cardiac events and an absolute benefit of 1 to 4% uh, percent in uh, survival. The URTC and the MA20 uh, trials complete and indicate the benefit of internal memory uh, nodes and regional lymph nodes uh, radiotherapy. So that's the proton, proton uh, improves the coverage of the lymph nodes. For uh, a prescription of 50 uh, gray photon lymph, uh, lymph nodes, uh, MR uh, identifies the lymph nodes. 82% uh, of the, uh, of 80%, around 80% of the of the uh, lymph nodes are covered by uh, 45 uh, gray, uh, and the uh, only 60% covered by 50 uh, gray, uh, 50 gray line, and 8% uh, of the lymph node receive less than 50, 15% uh, of the prescribed dose. That means that. The coverage of the uh, lymph nodes are uh, uh, adequate, and it's not uh, uh, like the photon, uh, 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 which is lacking uh, uh, a good percentage of uh, coverage for these uh, lymph nodes. The, it improves the coverage, uh, but also it decreases pneumonitis and uh, lymphedema. Here, uh, this is the photo, so you can a lot of uh, lung uh, is irrigated, much of the heart is irrigated. Right here, giving the internal uh, memory lymph nodes, the nose to the lung as well as the heart is uh, much lower. Uh, here again, this is the uh, difference between the, even if we use the photon and the electrons, electrons to the uh, uh, internal memory lymph nodes. Here is the uh, photon director, here is the photon uh, alone, and here is the proton, so the, the distribution of the uh, uh, ice dose is uh, much different with the uh, saving of the, uh, both the heart and the uh, lung. The chest wall and the internal memory nodes more, more homogeneous coverage with the, with the proton and with less hot and cold spots uh, inside the uh, treatment uh, volume. Uh, the improved coverage of the target volume uh, with the proton uh, does not affect the decrease. Together with the improved coverage, there is decrease in the 
uh, pneumonitis or the dose to the uh, lung as well as to the uh, heart. Uh, also, the uh, coverage of the uh, uh, supraclavicular lymph nodes and the axilla is uh, uh, much better with the uh, bronchial beam, and the heart and lung is much less uh, with the bronchial uh, beam. The MGH and the Mass General Hospital experience, they, they reported uh, uh, 12 uh, cases treated with uh, uh, proton therapy, and uh, this was the, uh, the, the distribution of these uh, 12 cases. And this is the, uh, their acute toxicity. They have uh, maximum uh, during radiotherapy. Grade 1 is uh, 3, with the grade 2 is uh, 9, while no grade 3. Uh, uh, acute toxicity uh, at four weeks post radiotherapy there is only uh, eight uh, grade ones and zero and uh, grade two and three while eight weeks uh, post radiotherapy the only three was in having grade one uh, radiotherapy no cases of radiation pneumonitis with medium follow-up of six months with a range from 3.5 uh, uh, to uh, 11 uh, months. The, this is the cosmetic results. You can find that there is a grade one, uh, uh, a grade one or two uh, uh, skin uh, inflammation uh, after at, at the end of therapy that improved by the uh, four week, uh, four week after, and the by eight weeks it's almost vanished. And here it's one year. It's almost. Uh, you can hardly know the. Uh, you can hardly notice the uh, reaction on, uh, in the skin. The in another experience, that they reported about 30 uh, patients, both uh, both for the post mastectomy as well as uh, radical uh, do, uh, radical radiotherapy. Uh, the 71.4 uh, percent have grade two skin and 28. Uh, 0.6 grade 2 uh, oesophagitis, grade 3 uh, uh, only uh, uh, there is no uh, grade, th uh, grade 3 and uh, the, uh, the this is again the, uh, the results prior to radiotherapy uh, and, and here the extensive uh, grade 1 uh, or 2 uh, skin reaction and it disappears by uh, and uh, that here there is the uh, a recent paper by Taylor uh, on 2015 uh, reporting about the complication of the coronary complication, and there is a lot of uh, decrease, a, a decrease, much decrease of the uh, complication with the use of uh, uh, proton, either with the uh, involvement of the uh, internal memory uh, chain nucleus or without the uh, internal memory uh, uh, radiation. So that is, he, he, this is a, uh, a collection of uh, six, cases, six uh, studies for, the, for this uh, problem. The, to conclude, the, there is improvement of the target volume coverage with a better avoidance of the heart and lung and can be achieved for patients with breast cancer uh, requiring post-mastectomy uh, post radiotherapy as well as uh, uh, radical uh, dose of radiotherapy. Uh, similar results uh, as for implant is uh, published and uh, thank you very much. And uh, this is the... Uh, here, this is the uh, Children Cancer Hospitals, and here is the, uh, the outpatient uh, facilities that will be uh, started construction uh, after a few uh, months. And in, in this uh, uh, building, there will be uh, a proton therapy facilities, and the proton therapy facilities uh, is going to be uh, uh, purchased within. Uh, two to three months from now. So uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Professor Mohamed Saad Alul for the elegant presentation. And now the floor is open for discussion. Professor Saad.
suspicions with the cloud with uh, the non-fractured or contractured and uh, falsifying the human recognition and uh, this. Uh, I didn't recall this, sorry. I, I was interested in the uh, computational problem of the Do you anticipate uh, how would the deprotein therapy uh, would be managed in Cairo? Because you, you have said, thank goodness, two, three months, this is a very good plan. Uh, would it be uh, like whatever you are doing in Sabah Humsin, Sabah Humsin treatment for free forever? Because proton is not endorsed by governments, even in USA. It's expensive treatment, an expensive facility. Yeah. Have you planned what to do and how would you address the, the nation, for example? Yeah, the, the uh, problem be for patients, for uh, pediatric patients will be free. Again, like the, what, the, what is uh, uh, given for the uh, patients uh, for radiotherapy and uh, 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 The For adults, I'm sure it will be pain. And uh, how much this will be, there's a lot of studies uh, uh, done uh, about this, and I, I, I believe that the, this will be uh, many negotiation uh, about this uh, between us, the, uh, the I, I mean between the radiation oncologists and the, uh, uh, the facility directors and the uh, uh, for, because it's, it's it's a very expensive uh, machine. Not only in the, in the uh, initiation or the, uh, the capital, uh, the running cost, is, the running cost is, is very big, so yeah. it, it needs to be uh, uh, reinforced in some way. So I, I believe it, it may go like the, the uh, Yaman knife or so, something like that for, for others, but for children it will be free. Yeah. Thank you. Between three and four dimension conformity therapy uh, and proton or between another techniques with IMRT? Uh, here is the. Yes, why is it? Yes, why is it? Proton versus IMRT. IMRT. Yeah. Yes, second question, please. Do uh, you have any uh, selection criteria for proton beam radiation for breast cancer? Because you know, as um, Dr. Khalid said, that's a very um, expensive procedure and uh, uh, time consuming. The first, that it has to be for the uh, those with internal memory uh, involvement, so you, you, you need to uh, give it internal memory. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you can give it any, for anyone, but uh, yeah, still. Uh, up to now, there is no FDA approval for breast cancer uh, to be treated with COVID. The only FDA approval for proton therapy is for the yeah. So. Uh, and there is a history, there is a, a story uh, for the prostate cancer where uh, in prostate cancer is treated, yeah, I, I'm not saying extensively, but it's, uh, many are treated by, uh, proton, by proton therapy in the United States. And then uh, the FDA approved, the, they failed to get the, the FDA approval for prostate cancer. So the, the main clinic, which was which was still the uh, big center that treated prostate cancer with proton, they changed their policy and they charging the, uh, the Medicare the same amount of money for the IMRT to give the proton. So that, yeah, this, there is a lot of uh, financial uh, issues together with the you have to have a, a real benefit for proton in order to get it. The, there is some indication that there is many improvement in the uh, technology that may result in uh, differential positive results with the proton therapy. And we are uh, waiting for this uh, uh, differential positive uh, uh, effect in order to give it to patients and uh, yeah, yeah. To pay the money for that, thing. Dr. Muhammad, I see that some um, slides you showed uh, in your uh, elegant presentation that um, there is um, uh, some sort of um, 
um, little a bit uh, bigger uh, skill action in, 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 uh, in slides he showed. I think that's uh, yeah, I, I, large more impressive. That is, yeah, yes. in, in, in both studies, uh, published studies, they put the, these pictures. I, I, yes. I take it from, the, from their studies. And this picture to show you that, yeah, yes, there is some uh, increasing uh, skin, immediate skin reaction, but it subsided yes. very rapidly, and, and you can uh, have it, the skin without yes. uh, late reaction. So my, my next question, please, and last question, do you think that the large volume breast, which is very common in our patients, uh, will be um, uh, some sort of limitation in uh, protein radiation? The same as the same. Okay, thank you uh, again, our professor Mohammed. Now we will uh, move to the second speaker. Dr. Mohammed, with all the, the advantages that you mentioned, could you have the, about accuracy and about diminishing or uh, decreasing the side effects, could we have the chance to decrease the dose delivered to the uh, tumor bed, especially in those patients who received proton as adjuvant treatment after mastectomy or after conservative breast surgery. In contrary to, to, to what I want from the proton therapy in certain malignancies such as the prostate or the medalloblastoma or some head and neck tumor. Yeah, for, for the published papers, they, they use the same uh, volume of the video uh, conformity. <coughs> So they use the same uh, guidelines of the actual genetic. So, uh, and they, they reported that the, the uh, side effects are less, the chronic side effects are less. So maybe the next step is to try to get uh, uh, decreased volume. Yeah, but it has to go step by the other, one step by the other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.